So I found myself on podcaster.apple.com quite recently doing a video about something else. And this is a fantastic resource for the new podcaster. If you're a beginner in the podcast space, uh, this is a great site to check out some solid fundamental information, though quick and easily digestible. It doesn't go too deep uh, into some of these aspects, but fantastic information to reinforce for anybody who's brand new to this. The package and present your show is really what I want to call your attention to today. More specifically, let me expand that. I thought I had it. Um, There's a few points here. And some of the things they say is design thoughtfully. Okay, great podcast design, both in storytelling and in maybe cover art, uh, your website, etc. Describe thoughtfully, right? You're really critically thinking about who this podcast is for and what you, who your audience is all about. And then they wrap it up with creating a brief. And I think that this is important for anybody who's running a podcast or going to be on a podcast. And generally, if you're running a podcast uh, you're or hosting a podcast, you're generally going to be a guest on someone else's podcast. Fantastic way to grow your audience if that wasn't clearly obvious. Uh, what I like here, you know, they're, they're really just saying, here, here's what you should really present to somebody in a nicely designed and described um, product. Now, the challenge is, is you might be design challenge like I am, or you're running out of time. And this is something, you know, you spend a little bit of time creating. Uh, Where do you begin with all of this stuff? And I thought, wow, here's a fantastic idea. Let's do it for free using something like Canva, right? So you can dump, uh, dive into Canva and pick something of like one of their resumes, right? Using a resume template, we can build that brief that, you know, Apple is literally suggesting we should do to help market our show. So I might be able to take my cover art for my podcast and maybe drop it in uh, in this section right here and just use the style guides, uh, the design template that, you know, quite literally uh, Canva is giving us, right? So you might say something like audience podcast, podcast for podcasters. Doesn't look too good there, but we'll figure it out. That's why. I told you I'm not a designer. You can also see that jumped up in size. So I'm not going to get too pixel perfect here. The audience podcast. Um podcast for podcasters. Uh, I'm not going to write out the whole summary that we have, but this is a great podcast for the beginner podcaster or veteran looking to grow their podcast audience. Tune in every week! Exclamation point. So there we go. I mean, we're already halfway done with sort of the design of a good looking brief that we're going to hand out to people uh, and send an email. Right. So if I'm going to be a guest on somebody's show or, you know, oftentimes on the audience podcast, you know, we just had uh, Stephen Pratt, VP of Pacific Content on our show. Um, I'm sure he's heard of Castos hosting before, but he doesn't know Craig or I and Craig interviewed him as a fantastic episode Uh, But this might be something we would send in advance to Steve and say, hey, we've invited you to be on the show. It's in the realm of, uh, you know, your uh, focus of 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 your career podcasting. (laughs) So here's a quick glimpse into what and who runs the audience podcast. Right. So you might do something like, say, hosts. So we'll do Craig Hewitt. Matt Medeiros, co-founder, or not co-founder, he is the founder, founder, castos.com, and we'll say director of podcaster success, and I'll say points of interest. I'm not going to write it all out right here, but you could say something like points of interest. This is a co-hosted show, so it's not just a solo episode for me. Uh, Obviously, Craig hosts it as well. So if I'm sending this out to somebody, you could say, hey, look, here's the hosts of the show. It's Craig and Matt. Here's their points of interest, maybe, you know, business, podcasting, creativity, storytelling, selling, stuff like that, right? And then you might, on the right-hand column, 
uh, if this is a brief for your uh, overall podcast, you might say something like top episodes and then list the top episodes. Uh, podcast A, podcast B, podcast C, right? And then link to them uh, by just doing something like listen and then giving this a link, right? So if I go to castos.com slash audience, got to figure out what content to record. This is just one of the last episodes here. So we might link that. I don't know why I can't click into it. There we go. Mm, can I not link? Zoom in a little bit here. 25. Link. I was looking for it on the left hand side. Apply. Right. So somebody can click that link. And then I might pull out some bullet points here. So uh, tools to organize content calendar. Break the writer's block. Fun social media tools for promoting your show, right? So those are like the three key things that we talked about in this episode. Uh, and this might be how to figure out what to record, how to figure out what content to record, right? And then you would do that for three top episodes. This is the obvious one, castos.com. Hello. Castos.com. No phone number. We'll just do Twitter here. Twitter.com slash Castos HQ. Beautiful. So with a little bit of spaghetti on the wall, brainstorming, picking a template in Canva. I don't know how long this video has been so far, but maybe four and a half minutes. I'm just guessing. And if I just filled out and picked a few top episodes, we now have a brief that looks pretty good. The style, the design is already there. We can download it in Canva in PDF. We can put this on our website in a, like a press kit page or something. We can use this to send out to other podcasters. Like, hey, I got a podcast. Would you like to be on it? You, you, oh, you don't know what it's about? Don't worry. Here's my podcast brief. And it looks decent, right? It looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't match our design style, but there's a ton of free uh, templates on Canva for resumes that you can just pick from and drop your content right in, export as PDF. I don't know, it's pretty darn easy. I hope you like it. If you do, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want more, like the video, share it around. Casos.com, great place to host your podcast. Especially if you want to get into private podcasting, you want to do like a membership thing with podcasting, check it out. Casos.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.